And just like that, we are done, folks. That's how simple it is. Oh my god, this fly. What's up, everybody? Peter here. How is everybody doing? Today, I wanted to show you guys a little tutorial of how I have my Stream Deck set up so that when I click a button, it just automatically saves the last 60 seconds of my gameplay when I'm streaming, while I'm streaming, and it uploads it straight to my Dropbox without me having to do anything other than remembering to click the button when I do something cool when I'm playing. You know what I mean? So here we go. You guys asked for it in my DMs on Twitter. You're like, Peter, how do I do this? This is genius. So I thought, you know what? It's easier just to show you guys. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, which I think is the hardest thing, is to set up your Dropbox. Now, if you're familiar with Dropbox, this is going to be very easy. All you have to do is go to your Dropbox, create a new folder. Let's call this Stream Highlight Test. We're going to create a new folder, brand new, empty, boom. Next thing you're going to want to do if you don't already have this is install Dropbox to your PC. Now, this is going to take a few minutes. Obviously, we'll speed it up for the video. All right, now we have this page that says share files straight from your computer. Okay, got it. All right, now we have this little box that comes up. Um local i'm gonna uncheck this i'm gonna come here i'm gonna go online only i'm gonna click continue uh i'm gonna go to advanced settings and then i'm gonna click the location that it's gonna save my dropbox folder in and i'm gonna go to other because i use an external drive so i'm gonna save it to my external drive we're gonna go to dropbox and i'm gonna click ok it says the path you've chosen ends with the, okay, that's fine, okay. Um, other than that, we're gonna go to change settings under selective sync. I'm gonna uncheck all. I'm gonna uncheck all, and then we're gonna go find the folder that I want synced up, which is stream highlight test. Cause I don't want all my other folders to be synced up with this PC. Um, I, I just specifically wanna use this folder with my Dropbox uh, only on this PC. And then now I can click open folder. There we go. So now we have a connection. We have a connection with my PC and my Dropbox folder. So anything I put in this folder, it's going to automatically sync across my whole Dropbox. So as soon as it's in there, boom, it gets uploaded. Okay, now that we're done installing Dropbox on our PC and we have our save folder set up, we're going to open up OBS. We're going to go to the settings. Under general, we're going to look for output. Make sure automatically start replay buffer when streaming is checked. This is a preference of mine. That way, anytime I start streaming, it automatically starts recording the buffer. That way, you don't have to start a buffer and end the buffer. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a little bit. Next, I'm going to go to the output tab. And I'm going to go to the recording tab in there. And then make sure your recording path is set to the folder that you want it to be recording to. For me, it's my Dropbox folder in my external drive, which I created and called it Stream Highlight Test. I can't change it right now since I'm recording, but that's basically what you have to do. That's very easy. I have all the audio tracks checked off. And then basically for my settings, I have it pretty much how I have my stream settings, except for one thing, the bit rate. My bit rate is a lot higher. It's at 20,000 for me. I mean, I find it okay for 1080, 60 FPS recording at 20,000. I think for me, it's fine. Again, this is up to you. You guys can mess with it if you want. I stream at 10,000, but for this recording, I want it at 20,000. Keyframe is at two, preset quality, profile high. I have look ahead unchecked. I have psycho visual tuning unchecked. Uh, GPU zero, max B frames two. All right, next we're gonna go back to our output. Actually, well, let's click okay on that. Let me go back to settings. 
output, we're going to go to the replay buffer tab. Make sure enable replay buffer is checked off. Next, you're going to look at the maximum replay time. This again, it's your preference for me. I have it set to 60 seconds. So this means it's going to, when I click the button, it's going to record the past 60 seconds of what just happened on my stream, including my webcam, the audio, the visuals, everything. So that's what I have it set to because I play a lot of Fortnite. So when you're playing Fortnite, you get like teams coming in and stuff happens. So I just want to make sure I capture all of it. Right. So I have it set to 60. Again, it's up to you guys. It's going to tell you the estimated memory uh, usage, whatever. Other than that, you got to go to hotkeys. Before I forget, very, very easy uh, to forget, but you have to set hotkeys. It's very important. So you're going to go to the start replay buffer and stop replay buffer. Um, for me, I put R and S for stop. You can do whatever you want. Um, now that I have it set to automatically begin the replay buffer when I start streaming, I really don't even need this, but I put it there anyways. So whatever, whatever you guys want to do. Next, we got the replay buffer, which is the most important thing. Save replay, P for me, anything for you. That sounded weird, but that's what it is. P for Peter, okay? I don't know what you guys are thinking in your heads, but for me, it's for Peter, okay? <sighs> All right, so we're going to click OK, and we're pretty much done with OBS. We have our save replay system set, and it's going to save it to my Dropbox whenever I want, right? So the next thing, the final step, is to open up our Stream Deck software right here. Boom. Okay, so this is my layout. Here's all my hotkeys. What's cool about the Stream Deck XL is that there's so many more keys on it now and I can put a lot more stuff. I don't have to like make uh, separate folders and you click on something and it goes to another folder and then there's more things in that folder. So as you can see, I have a slot available right here and I actually have one right here. I made start and uh, stop uh, replay buffer buttons already, but we're gonna skip that. You guys can do that yourselves if you want. I'm gonna go to the system tab. I'm gonna go to hotkey and I'm gonna drag it on over. And it says click T, uh, click key to uh, assign a, a keystroke. And then we're going to put P. I'm going to disable the titles because I don't want it to show. I'm actually going to upload an image from a file that I had earlier. It's under my downloads. Stream that key. We're going to use this image. Boom. And then basically that's it, folks. We're pretty much done. Let me reopen OBS so I can see. Okay, so let's start the replay buffer. Right here. Okay, so now it's starting the replay buffer. So we're going to give it like 60 seconds for it to record something, right? Right now, this is the buffer. It's not the actual clip that I, I made, right? So next, we're going to go to... I'm going to switch the scene to my Xbox. Okay, can you guys see me? Hello. So now, okay, something cool is happening, right? I'm playing a video game. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe I got that kill. I can't believe I hit that snipe from 365,000 meters away. Let me record that real quick, boom. I click this button, right? That's all I do. And then I'm still playing and I go back and I'm playing again. Yeah, we're playing, we're playing. It's amazing. This game is so amazing. Meanwhile, while I'm still playing, a lot is happening, folks. A lot. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to find my folder. Let's go back to the desktop. And I'm going to find my stream highlight test folder. And look at that. It's already up there, ladies and gentlemen. Look, 34 seconds ago, 30 seconds ago. Here is my awesome gameplay. Let's so press now play, see what happens. Buffer. 
it so actually recorded it like 42 seconds because I don't think I think we did a little earlier than we should have. Right? I don't think the buffer right now, was ready. You know, it's not it wasn't ready for that 60 seconds. That I, but that's fine. You I get made, the gist right? of it. So next we're gonna go. And that's about it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out with setting everything up. All you have to do now, the hardest thing, folks, is to remember to actually press the button when you're live streaming to record the past 60 seconds. It uploads it right away to your Dropbox. Don't do what I used to do, which is open up my YouTube after I was streaming just to scrub through everything and screen capture highlight clips from my phone. It was compressed. It was ugly. Then it gets even more compressed when you upload it to Instagram or Twitter. So it was just a mess. Now, this is such a cleaner, easier, faster way to record highlight clips immediately. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If you have any more comments, put it in below and I'll try to reach out to you guys. Remember, Elgato Stream Deck, if you guys want more information on them, elgatogaming.com, at Elgato Gaming on Twitter or Instagram. I am an Elgato partner. They did not in any way make me make this video or pay me. This is just me helping you guys out. It's a freaking amazing tool if you guys didn't already know. I was using Elgato products way before I was a partner, so I really recommend them. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.